Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Cone Dodger here. Welcome back to Formula One 2018, and welcome to Silverstone Q1 here in our McLaren. Recently upgraded, we have now gotten a major power increase in our McLaren, which should help us out. And it looks like the team's expecting it to help us out as we were targeted to qualify 7th this week, which is up from like 15th. So that's, that's pretty major. That is a pretty major increase. Also, myself and Alonzo topped the practice times in P1 and P2, so it's possible that we have a really good car here. However, I was unable to do the practice qualifying program to a perfect result, and I was really off numbers pretty much everywhere, so I'm still confused. I'm also not particularly happy with the way the car is handling, so it's going to be an interesting day. So unhappy with the car, I actually just did a little setup change before I went out. Luckily it's things that are not Park from a Limited, so I can I can go back on them if necessary. But I just don't know really where we're gonna stand, so this Q1 lap will be rather important to me. Okay, really diving in here. Silverstone's a really tricky track for Formula One. It's actually a tricky track in pretty much anything I've ever raced it in. Some of the non-downforce cars, it's not so bad, but certainly in these high downforce cars, it's tricky because the turns are just so very flat, and some of them are, are like this one, below the speed in which your aerodynamics work. And the car just feels completely different. A little too close to the inside there. Pretty, pretty messy lap overall. Okay, the setup changes I made were to help through here, and it may have helped a touch. You can hear the car is still scraping the ground, which is interesting because you might think I have the ride height set to like zero or something. No, no, it's set to four. 4 out of 10. It's not like it's bottomed out. The car just happens to ride really low. Okay, not not too pleased with that lap overall. Out for another attempt here in Q1 because we are not going to make it through. A lot of my fears are, are coming true right now where I just don't seem to have a qualifying pace here this weekend. It's been, that's been something that's happened a lot to us over the course of the season. Where the car has very good race pace for me, but not very good qualifying pace. I'm going to try and hot lap move here. Boy, did I overshoot that turn. It wasn't a lap ruiner, but it wasn't great. Out of there cleanly should pick us up quite a bit of time. Pretty nice as well. Pinpoint precision as the game locks up and throws me offline. Still really good there. That was a really good middle sector. That might be what saves us. Despite being really not great in sector one. That should be very much so safe. Okay. Whew, that's a lot of work though. I, I, I don't feel fantastic. Alright, Q1, 6th and 9th. Nice. Alonzo with a 126.669. Nice. Uh, really is outpacing me here this weekend. I just watched Alonzo uh, slam the wall in Indy. Quite a quite a big hit. Hope, hope he's alright because it was, it was a nasty looking crash. I guess I just time coded when I was recording this. Eh, that's fine. Let's go to Q2. No time like the present. Let's hit the track. Immediately for Q2. Try and find something here. I don't know that I'm gonna find something in the setup. I think I gotta find something in the driver. Something deep inside of me that knows how to drive a race car. Hopefully. 
I do think going to mode 4 helped us a little bit. It helped it lunge out of the turns a bit more, and I wasn't getting near using the energy levels, so I'm not, not up against that limit. So let's go down to 4. Make sure we get a good run onto the front straightaway. Good. Oh, that was... That was near disaster there. It, it tried by hell to spin out at the fastest part of the track. <laughs> at least the fastest part where you're turning. Yikes. Boy, it's gotten real. Huh. It got real dirty all of a sudden. Or maybe it's just because I'm pushing it to limits it's not used to. And I understeered right there. So far, not so good. Understeer, understeer, understeer. I might try for a second flying lap. Try to do back to back to see where we're at. We're like five tenths down on Vettel right now. That is not going to be enough. We don't run very soft tires here, so I think we should have two laps in the thing. 127.5. That's not as bad as I thought it was, but certainly not what I want to be at. This time we didn't get loose through there. Still got tight through here. I hit the button, but it didn't open. I guess I was too early. Again, the back end wants to slide out right there. We're definitely up this lap. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Yeah, we'll be fine. Hard on the engine there, but you gotta do it. You gotta get the thing to rotate. Now that was sexy. That was good. Purple middle sector. That was also pretty good. I almost wonder if the car is working better on the second lap. Because that was nice. 26, 6, 9. What more can he ask for? 7th and 8th in Q2. Comfortably through. Well, we're through. <laughs> I don't know about comfortably, but... Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like we have quite the pace today that we did in practice. I'm really worried about Vettel, who managed to get through in Q2 on mediums. And an I ran two laps on softs, so they're going to be really rough to start the race. We're going to have to short pit, basically. That'll be interesting. And now we're on for a Q3 run. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to run back-to-back -back laps. I really think there was something to that. And we don't have to worry about these tires at all. These are purely for qualifying. You'll notice we do have new parts. Our energy store is fixed. Everything, everything should be up to snuff right now. But I can tell you we're definitely going to run out of parts throughout the season. There's some things on the car like the energy store that they didn't do any durability increases on. And stuff like that we're gonna we're gonna run out of. I'm not gonna take it easy on lap one here, but I'm going to keep it in mind that I have another lap in the bank on a set of tires. This just changes changes my driving style a touch. I'm not gonna try and will the car around, you know, I'm gonna let the car have a little extra room if it needs it, rather than sliding the tires and ruining a second lap run. I 
the 26s. No slowdown in Q3 today. That's okay. Third, third. Down to fifth. Let it float, let it float. Hit the gas. Perfect. I'm getting that down. I'm glad I put more front wing in it. It's, it's given me that that sector back. That's where I'm typically pretty good around this track. Used to throw me off so much back in the like the Jolo series days. He was always much better than me through that section. 26-9, it's okay. That we're using mode four. I don't know that it's going to make too much of a difference. It certainly seemed to out of there. Pretty good lap so far. there was something to gain through here. I think we got it. Not as good exit mining. there. Not as good. Not terrible, but there was more there. That's all I can get out of that. This is not my best set of turns on the track. I was smoking though, nice! Alright, I think... I think that's a good effort. Hopefully it, it beats Alonzo, that's the only... That's the only thing I'm really too concerned about. But I think that'll be a, a good starting spot for us. Had concerns, I had a lot of concerns. Especially in Q1, but... Feeling good now. Interesting that the car seems to get better on lap two. That's unusual. Almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Kimi Raikkonen's perfect lap yesterday sees him start from pole position, edging out Roman Grosjean, who'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Red, Lewis Hamilton, and Perez, Ocon, Magnussen. Ricardo and Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Hulkenberg, Carlos Sainz, and Sorotkin, Ericsson, Verstappen, Valtteri Bottas, and Lance Stroll, Gasly, and Brendan Hartley rounds off the grid. Okay, this is the team's home race. We're all relying on you to impress today. Oh, I didn't think about that one either. <laughs> so it is. So it is. All right, well... Because of the short nature of these races, uh, I guess I don't really have a problem with the tires being uh, a little bit used to start the race. Interesting, though, that we have to go to the mediums. I was kind of hoping we could do like a soft to super... S no, wait, it's medium hard. I'm dumb. I'm a dumb person sometimes. So this is an ideal strategy. I'm just going to shut up. Let's go race. Also, Alonzo back there in 10th, not a great qualifying for him. Mm, go, car, go! Oh my! Oh my! How was there no contact? Wow! That was something. I mean, it was it was crazy, but a, a clean getaway, actually. We'll watch out for Hamilton here. Trying to make those early moves. Our good old friend, the hang-ups there. Go straight into Rich Mix here. Okay, we're through the start phase. Now let's build on it. Make sure I can keep up. 
I'd like to keep this podium streak alive, or get a podium streak started. That would be nice. I definitely felt like we had a better race car than we had a qualifying car, so pretty encouraging. Vettel in front of us is on mediums. He's going to be going to, like, the end of this race before pitting, basically. I don't know how that'll shake out for him. They are not getting away from Hamilton, that's for sure. We're approaching the pit window. He'll be on the mediums. Yeah, we're really not going to undercut very much going to the medium so early. Why does this track have so many hang-ups? Isn't this track, like, where Codemasters is from? Shouldn't they maybe focus on this one? <laughs> yeah, the front two are definitely running away a bit. Trying to get myself to Hamilton there a bit. Oh, Alonzo to the back of the field, what happened? Must have been some kind of contact. That sucks. Not good for our, our point situation. This is tricky when you're right up behind someone. Well, we got more power, but we don't have enough power. <laughs> a beautiful draft, a good run, and we didn't gain on Vettel at all there. Need that DRS. I think they want to get us in early to get out of Vettel's dirty air. My fear there is what if we come out in the pack? I wish I could go back on that. Like, hey, remember that thing I just agreed to? Never mind. I was kidding. Really, I wish I could just tell them what lap I want to pit on. That would be... That would be the smart thing. Another turn, it's very tricky to be up behind somebody in. Some serious air wash there. Just want to make sure I'm on the right side of the track for this. Oh jeez, <laughs> I forget where that that pit lane starts. It's uh, it's pretty far back there. It looks like the field's grouped up enough that we won't be in traffic. It looks that way. Yeah, because they're already passing and we're not even to our box yet. This is long pit road, too. Should be good to go. Go, go, go. Alonzo is just way back there. And he hadn't pit yet either, so. No, no points from Fernando today, it looks like. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. All right, let's adjust to these medium tires that you can tell don't have quite as much grip. I don't think I've actually run these tires on a high engine mode. But it's gonna take a little getting used to. So the bad part is these are not gonna be any faster than the softs. Right now, those softs have so little wear on them, there's just no way we're going to get any undercut. The only advantage is getting out of traffic. I think, I think that's why we made that call. We'll 
see if it works. It's important that I run some pretty good laps with him. Try my best. Sixteen fire to Alonzo, that'll be a good benchmark for me, assuming he didn't get any damage. It's not gonna be terribly long that everybody else is on pit road. I think we really could have put on this lap and been fine. Nobody even pit this lap. Oh, we just missed that entire turn, basically. I really think it's tied to weather changes, because that happened right as the cloud cover rolled in. Okay, the front two are racing hard. Come on, mate, you can do it. It's been a tough race, but I know you're capable of getting more out of that car today. Dig deep. Give us the best of your talent. Our gap to the car in front is 50. The hell was that? Seconds. What was this pep talk for? And why was it right in a braking zone? What? I have never heard that before. Y'all the ones who put me back here. What me? Okay, we did close in on Alonzo touch. Even with the blunder, thanks to Captain Talks a lot. Oh, yeah. Warning exceeding track limits. Warning exceeded frame drop limits. Well, talk back to me, game. <laughs> people on bit road now. Doesn't look like we did very good. We're behind a Force India. That was a bum deal. That was a bad strategy. Never listen to Jeff. Always trust your gut. I think we still have the opportunity to be fourth. Our tires are up to temp and his aren't yet. Pierre Gasly out of the race. Not, is coming not to really going to shake up anything there. Now running medium tires. Thanks, Jeff. Head and nose. Car, you better be able to draft by him with, with DRS open and in a draft. Come on! Well, we at least scared him out of the way. <laughs> it looks to me like Rojan may have ended up losing some time in this sequence. Hard to tell yet. Certainly, certainly. Hey, ho, ho, I mean, you Certainly, I think Vettel is going to be in an interesting position. Currently in the lead. I'll be curious to see if this strategy works for him. Senior's racing together. You know how hard it's going to be for me to try and change their name for the next game? I guess maybe at least the announcers will be saying Racing Point in game, so that should, like, tip me off, but not going to be easy. I'm enjoying the cloud cover. I hope it stays. The gap to the car ahead is 4.1 seconds. Boy, that straightaway speed's an issue. Their inability to turn through the carousel is an issue for them. Around the outside there. Oh, 
Oof. Not the curb. We're leading our teammate by 18.3 seconds. This is sketchy. Oh, he just turned right into me. <laughs> oh, I was so there. I was there and also, like, next to there. We were neighbors. I guess they're just not expecting someone to be there. This is gonna make a heck of a stacked field behind us, because I'm gonna be bottlenecking the cars in the straightaways and then able to outmaneuver him. He turns like this. He says, pushing wide, not out maneuvering them. <laughs> That's what I mean, though. Vettel's just coming out of the pit, so... Hi, oh, Jesus! I guess I need to be on high alert here for weird moves. Also, the game locking up all over the place. It's like I'm standing still in the straightaways, and in the turns, it's like they're standing still. This is awful. Yeah, I didn't think you could hold the inside there. Why did I ever drive it through there? Oh, I like Hamilton stretching it out right there. Our gap to first place is 12.8 seconds. Gosh, the polar opposite of these cars is frustrating to deal with. I feel like we're... Oh, Hamilton missed the turn. He couldn't hold an inside lane. Again, things are about to get weird. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Game, please. That front wing is letting me do things like that. But I do think it's holding me back too much in the, t in the straightaways to be competitive. It's causing this very, very weird race to develop. And then that doesn't really help me down in these slow turns, so... It's a bit just even through these, which is not great because a lot of those are before straightaways. Really need to 
get power out of these turns. Try to build a gap. That's everything I can get out of that. There as well. A little bit of rich fuel mix will save me. Oof. That was rough. No, 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 no. Gap to teammate behind is 17. I knew it! The 20 right, so we've been looking at the damage, and we think you should be okay to continue. It'll cost us a little bit. I should, and that happens all the time here where they pass you and then slam on the brakes. I should have known it was going to happen. That's a lot of front end damage. That's a lot of front end damage. So much worse than I anticipated. <laughs> Just cut the whole shit. Just do it. player here. Feels like I have nothing now. I used to have the turns. But they have the straightaways. Now I have neither. Especially in high speed turns like that. Oh, game! Why? Why? This race has just been a kick in the nuts! Is it... is it displeased? Have I upset something that... We won a race with the McLaren? Some balance needs restoring or something? Oh. <sighs> that was a great win then for the Marinello team today. Yeah. Here come our winning drivers then out onto the podium at the end of a thrilling Grand Prix. The drama and excitement are over, and it's time to let it all sink in. Con oh, it's in I'm letting it all sink in. And now let's take a look at the driver's It's standards. sinking. It's a good result and for it's Sebastian stinking. Vettel, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I think it's got to be Kimi Raikkonen. He's not always spectacular, but he quietly gets the job done. And that's the case today. And now let's take a look at the constructors' standings. Ferrari extend their lead at the top of the championship. There'll mm, be plenty more away. turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top. Nice amount of points there, Haas. 
Oh, man. Man. I think it all went wrong with the strategy. We never should have pit that early. That was a terrible idea. Terrible, terrible idea. Pretty good start. I just... Yeah, I mean, I was, it was very difficult to, to overcome the straightaway speed, for sure. Uh, with tracks like this, I think I need to look into probably running lower down force and giving up some handling. Because, yeah, that straightaway speed's... It's not enough. It is not enough. Just grind that car down. What's frustrating is it wasn't even... It wasn't even like the car handled perfectly either. It just... It, it didn't ever seem to have the front end under it. So I guess in that way, it, it didn't even make sense to do the more arrow. Because it didn't... It didn't ever get, like, amazingly better when I kept putting downforce on it. Hmm. Hmm. Lessons learned from this race. Lessons learned. And we'll take them on to the next one. Thanks for watching.